Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome artist Scarab. Thanks for coming, man. Thank you for having me, Stephen. I wanted I wanted to acknowledge what happened when you first walked in here. There was like some Deepak Chopra moment. Yeah. So you, he's off camera. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna put you on blast. But so this guy, Lynn, is my neighbor, Craig, and my friend for years. But he, you, you knew him as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I've I've known him since like second grade, like elementary, man. So when you walked, because I've never met you either. Right. So when you walked in, the like you stared at him, he stared at you, and there was that moment where it was there was like you guys were trying to work it out. Yeah. And so, but like you, you said right away, you said something like, I don't know exactly. What did you say to I him? I said, you said, this is Lan. I said, yeah, I know him. <laughs> I know him. And then. Oh, and then you said something about the area where you guys. Grew up. Grew up, yeah, which I, was. Uh, North Mount. East LA, Mount Washington. Mount Washington. Yeah. Lan, can you hand me my, uh, my chew real quick there? It's uh, that Stoker's. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Sorry for sorry for cutting you. I, I need this during our, yeah, I'm I'm addicted to this only. <laughs> but man, I'm I'm really glad you're here. Um that was an amazing thing to uh to just witness cuz I knew icebreaker. It was, it like, was an icebreaker. It was like boom, yeah. like there was a familiar vibe already. Absolutely. So, but then you also mentioned you guys went to the same middle school and high school? Yeah. Well, not middle school. I think we went we went to the same elementary and we went to the same uh high school. Yeah. <laughs> unbelievable yeah, dude man. what a small world right because this guy because just and he just came back you said from dude he's been gone for years right he was living in the bay area craig how long was he living in the san francisco for 10 years, I worked, I worked 14 years. 14 years. so he just moved back down yeah. after 14 years living in the bay yeah and yeah. He, he's never come here to do this until now it just happened that it was your episode he's here and there was that crazy buddhist friendship moment which was awesome it's to beautiful. witness yeah it's beautiful i want to get man you ha i'm so happy Love you're it. here man i'm I just want to get this out of the way any of the legends are welcome here we're we're big fans of your guys's music over the years i want to get into you it you say that now but i'm not responsible for any of the legends other than you know you, you said eli's already been here so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. eli know. actually gave me a beautiful um painting of uh a Native American yeah. guy, and it's been up since. But like, you guys are just artists all around. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, man. Um, how did you? So going back to your guys' middle school and high school. How? So when did you meet um, Merz and Eli? Um, Merz and Eli. Mm -hmm. I met Eli first. I met Eli in uh, middle school. So after mm -hmm. Land and I graduated from elementary, mm -hmm. uh, Eli was probably Eli was one of the first people I met. In middle school that's and crazy we just, you know we clicked you know um, wow and from there we just formed a group like he and i were just you know writing songs and 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 such together was it three melancholy gypsies back then not yet it was okay so there was a name before that yeah i'm afraid to say the name of it. no i was please i'm dying to know i'm, I'm dying to know please say the name oh shit shit can we curse yeah on yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> shit i think we're, we're called um Urban Instincts. Oh, that's cool. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Urban Instincts. Did you guys record? Uh, did you guys record? Um, how did how did you record uh, music back then? Well, back then, you know, um, we wrote o over other people's instrumentals. So we were writing over. Oh, right, some, right, right. You know, Tupac instrumentals. That's or, crazy. 
De La Soul mm-hmm, instrumentals mm-hmm. back then, you know, a group called Black Sheep had just, you know. Oh, I love, I love Dresh, know, yeah. Um, I'm a big Farside, fan. Farside, around that big, time, Farside big had fan. just come out. Yeah, big fan. You know, so we were writing over there, like, Soul Flower instrumentals. Yeah, like, I remember hearing that off the Heavy Rhyme Experience off Jazzy the Jazzy Fat Nasty yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, from there, then we joined, um, another member joined us. He was a bit older, we, and we made a group called uh, Miscellaneous Minds. Who was the other guy? His name was uh, Savant, or Idiot Savant. Oh, okay, cool. Who's cool, now, cool. you know, also known as Trinell Young, who was like for a while like an uh, MMA fighter. Oh, he got into fighting? Yeah, he got. Oh. He has his own school out in like Pasadena. Oh, wow. And yeah, because we're fans Trinell. of that. Yeah, UFC yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, um, I think he, goes, he went by Trinell Young or, or Savant. Yeah, that's crazy. Savant Young. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, once we linked up with him, the way we started recording is uh, this producer befriended us. Um, oh, just at school? No, we did. We there was this uh, there was this competition. We used to enter these competitions on phone, like phone line competition. Dial oh, in. Wow. You'd rap on the phone. It, it, the you know they would record it, and then other people would call in and listen to the and raps. Vote, vote on it. And vote. Whoa! Do you remember these days? You know, this is before. This, this is before cell phones. So, cell phones. This is so, before we had pagers. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, there was a time in history where <laughs> not everyone and their kid had a. Uh, their own personal phone you'd have right. a house phone right and then there was actually something called pay phones like yeah. near, at 7-eleven or something yeah outside yeah yeah, yeah but they it's probably because we may have younger uh listeners listening to this so i just want to clarify that but continue yeah so um mm-hmm. won the competition and this um actually this cat named g money you know we won the competition so it was quote unquote he's gonna help us get a record deal do you and eli so Eli, uh, Idiot Savant, mm-hmm. and, and I. you, yeah. And then from there, we kind of transitioned into working with this producer out of Burbank named uh, Black Jack. I forgot how he got involved. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, and we parted our ways with these pr- the producers and such. And mm-hmm. then Eli and I, after middle school, graduated and went to high school. And, and what high school? high school, uh, Hamilton High. Oh, Hamilton. And that's when I, honestly, that's when I relinked up with Land because we were riding the same bus. You rode the same bus as Scarab? Yeah. <laughs> same elementary bus. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. So your mom, you guys were neighbors as well, right? You lived near each other or something? Yeah. Well, his mother lived across the street from an aunt of mine. And I lived on the other side of the hill. I lived oh. by the museum, by Southwest Museum. Oh, right on. Um, and then, you know, so his and his mom's lived across the street from an aunt That's of mine. That's crazy. By a, rec- a, recreation, a recreational center. Oh, wow. You know? That's crazy. What a small world. Right? Shout out to Hamilton High. Let's continue that history. I like I like listening so to this stuff. So many people, yeah. artists went to Hamilton you High. You go ahead and name some other when ones. When we were going, when I was going to Hamilton High, Eli, Merce, and I, um, a group of people under the stairs. Oh, so, I'm a fan of theirs. Yeah, so yeah, Double yeah, yeah, yeah. K. So Thess? Yeah. yeah. Thess went to a different school. Okay. But, but, but uh, Mikey, Double K, he went to school with us. And um, who else went to Hamilton at that time? He went there too? Yeah, he went there at the same time. God, you had time. a lot of talented mu- music people, um, man. Fiona Apple was there at the same time. I can see that. You can vouch for that, lad? Yeah. I can vouch for that. Yeah. Fiona Apple, dude. <laughs> she was She was there. What are you laughing at, Craig? You're not a fan? Are you laughing at Fiona Apple or what's the deal? I'm laughing that they both have this connection. Okay, they had that connection because yeah. they both like vouch for Fiona. But keep, keep going. I love this. It's real. Who else? Shout out to Fiona. Yeah, shout out to Fiona Apple. You know. Hey, hey, let me throw this out there. If you happen to listen to this or watch the Stevie Weeby show, we would love you as a guest. Right. But right. that's never going to happen. But keep, keep going. Never say never, man. Okay, yeah. Well, you never know. Because this internet, this internet thing. Uh, it could happen. Uh, I take it back. It could happen. It so, could Fiona, happen. please hit me on my Instagram. Continue, Scarab. I love it. Um, And then from there, uh, what's that? We met, we linked up with Merce. And then, you know, there was some, I'm drawing a blank, but there were some other artists, some actors. Yeah, um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, athletes. Wow. You know, it's the same school, you know, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. He's much younger than us, but he also went to Hamilton High he School. He went there too? Yeah. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and some, some musicians from Ozo Motley. Yeah, dude. Uh, Just, that, Justin. Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe his name was. I mean, we. I think well, we Cut Chemist was a part of that, right? Yeah. Yeah, because he was. He's been on here as well. Yeah, but, that's but I don't so know crazy. if he went. To, I don't know. Oh, okay. If he, at least not when I was. Oh, not right, when right, I was right. going there. So what year? This was in the '90s, sometime in the '90s. Yeah, I did not graduate from Hamilton. I left and went to a different school. But this was around, like '95. Mm-hmm, I would mm-hmm. say, '95, '94. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, one song. So you met Merce at Hamilton. Yes. So how did you three all merge mm. into 3MG, Three Melancholy Gypsies? Well, um, Eli and I were a group mm -hmm. at that time. And Merce was already there. And he was in a different group. Mm -hmm. And he just, you know, we just clicked as individuals yeah, yeah. As, well, as well, not even like outside the music like you didn't even know he did music no didn't really he didn't know he did he did music um and at that time um we had a mutual friend and uh she introduced him to our music and he i wouldn't say he was necessarily a fan but he liked our music <laughs> you and eli yeah he liked eli Knight's oh, music. oh wow and I we liked it. him so you know we uh we met at orientation and from then on, we just, you know, we clicked. And so we orientation music. at the, the first week of school? First week of school. Dude, I school. love it. I love it. I love it. Because, dude, I'm a fan. <laughs> so like, I'm, yeah. like I'm, I'm fanning out right now because, man, I still love, I mean, you might not believe me, but that Sunsprayed y'all recorded? That's the first that song Sun we Spray, made. That Sunsprayed, dude. I'm telling you, they took a Nirvana, like they flipped this Nirvana sample, dude, and their rhyming styles on it. Like, I'm telling you, man, we... I Nirvana and Jungle Book, because oh, then we had the interlude amazing, with yeah. uh, with the snake with uh, yeah, what was dude. his name, Ka, trust in me. Oh, dude, yeah. Me. You know, oh, then, that was and then really psychedelic, into, dude. Yeah. It reminded me of like Alice in Wonderland or something yeah. weird, but slap them back with the slap yeah. them down with the back of my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, their their rhyme styles back then, like even in Arizona, because uh, I discovered you. Uh, I was living in Arizona at the time. My homeboy Mestizo, he had a tape. And it had, I think it had Hyro uh -huh. uh, on one side, but on the other side, it had you guys. So it had... Um, that was around the same time Hyro 93 until had uh, it dropped. So I want to say like 93. Yeah, yeah. maybe Hyro Oldies. It was like some... But it wasn't on their album. It was Hyro Oldies type okay. stuff. But it had some of your guys' four track songs. I know... Okay, so I had Sun Sprayed was on it. But then another... My other favorite one was... Um, Hopeless romantic with the Titanic. Ah, that yeah, was yeah, much yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. But it had, I think it had that on it too. Funny story about Sunspray and that tape. Yeah, yeah. Let's that go was, back to that. So Sunspray was the first song we recorded. Yeah. Um, literally on tape, you know, and um, we were just sharing it amongst our friends, but mm -hmm. we only had like you know one or two tapes of it, and we shared it with a friend of ours. But explain to the viewers because a lot of them are younger. Explain to a them tape. A, a tape. Yeah, explain to them what a tape is. Okay, yeah. so a tape is literally yeah. a recording on tape. Um, uh, it's a, a tape cassette. cassette. Tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish I had one. And you one put it way. into a tape deck, push play, rewind, fast forward, and it doesn't just start. It has to rewind. You have to rewind it. Yeah. Or fast forward. You you know you find you know yeah. what song you're looking for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by by ear. It wasn't like you just advancing tracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. But um, we had this tape, and a, and a a good friend of ours or a friend of ours liked it so much, he stole it. He took it from us. Oh, because he liked that song so much. Dude, it's banging. And song. then banging. and he spread it around, and that's how word spread. But we we wanted to take. We were upset. We we're like, we wanted to oh, take. Oh, because you all wanted just for you guys to yeah. listen to. Yeah, we were just like, because at the time it wasn't like, yeah, we're gonna blow up and do no, this. No, no. We were just like, you know, oh, let's sh share this is our our song. Yeah, and, yeah. And so and so has a song, and they have a song. And we're just comparing songs. Yeah. But you know, he he took the tape, he stole the tape, and gave burnt copies. And um, lo and behold, that's how the cult following it started. But wow, the, dude! The I guy love who took that. the guy who took the tape, uh, he goes by the name uh, DJ Jedi, and once and now, well, I don't know if he's still doing it now, but he turns out to be like Diggable Planets DJ. What? Yeah. And he's a, oh. he's a he's a tight DJ around LA. Man, so I'm a big thank fan you. Of shout it, outs yeah. to uh, shout out to Jedi DJ Jedi. Hey, but, dude, that's dope, man. <laughs> you know. I'm fanning out right now. That's a great story, man. <laughs> That's like the understory. Like, you know, if it wasn't for him doing that, you know, we I don't think we would have had as 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 much of a following at that time. Yeah, but then if you want to add on to that, you guys, when you linked up with the other members, you guys are responsible for actually innovating like ways of booking your own tours mm -hmm. and and you know, slanging your own product at your own shows and shrink wrap, you know, like doing the, your own covers and all that. Yeah. And so, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, like he later joined a collective. We'll get into it later, but but it started with Sunsprayed. Yeah. Started with Sunsprayed. But y'all had a video too. Sunsprayed video. Yeah. Yeah, we shot it. It was a high school project. 
It's on YouTube if you want to. So um, oh, for the viewers, if, if you I looked wanna... older then than I do now. I, yeah, yeah. I had high school, but <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. a beard. I had, but it was if, dope. So look up 3MG Sunspray. There's yeah. several. Um, there's several. There's just audio of it, but there's a video of it. I yeah. think there's three or four different um, examples of it on YouTube. Yeah. And the director of that video is um, a recording artist named Anacron. Who's oh, that's LA. Of, He's an LA, LA dude. Oh, that's Anacron so was crazy. the one who did that. Because we're all high schools. So that's another high school. Student. Hamilton? Hamilton High. What the hell is this Hamilton High? What is going on with Hamilton High? Well, you know, it's three schools in one. Oh, I didn't know. So explain what, like, explain that. So like, it's humanities. Humanities. Um, It's just the local score for the, and then there was uh, performing arts. So there was theater. That's there was acting. Got, that's why you guys, there's so many talented people. That so yeah, sense. yeah. So people literally were being trained and going to school for that too. Comedian, artist, right? Just you in know. this room. So yeah, yeah man. and me and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so let's go, man. I'm like, this is great. I just because I love hearing the history of everything. So from 3MG and meeting Merce and Eli, forming that group. Did you? When did you guys start recording more material? Um. So by that time, we had befriended um, some another group that uh, had other artists who were a bit older than us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was a group um, we joined called Log Cabin. Dude, I'm a fan of that album, bro. Yeah, it's on YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah, all those old um, cuts. Radioactive. Radioactive. So those of you, Malik. this is good promotion. This is good. Pro so for those of you who want to do your history, go to YouTube and type in not Lab Cabin. That's Farside's second album. Log Cabin. Log Cabin. Like the syrup. Hey, was Gino, was Subtitle a part of it? Was he Gino, wasn't a part of but it. But he had one. No, no. I, we, he might have been on some Maybe of the one cuts song? or something. There was another group called, um, at that time, or it was an artist named Cookbook. Oh, and he was he he and another artist named Uno Mas who were part of a group called LA Symphony out of yeah. So they were also oh in Log Cabin. Oh my god, you know? dude, that that is like for underground heads. That's like one of the bangers right there, right? Yeah, I didn't just the so, links, you know. So let's okay. So man, so how long did you record? Like, how did you link up with all these other guys? How long did it take you to record that project? I would say. At that time, one, two, so okay. it was over a span of maybe three years. But as far as recording that project, you know, we put our monies together, I think, one summer and we rented, you know, a studio. Yeah, out yeah. In, uh, Santa Monica. And we were able to record that That's stuff. That's so tight, this man. Cat named That's Henri. tight, dude. Yeah. It's, it still holds up. That's I love right. that song with, uh, I think it's just Eli and Radio and Active. Uh -huh. It's a weird, but and they're it's just a going, long... brrr, yeah, yeah, and they're yeah, rapping yeah, yeah, forever. Super fast. Yeah, yeah. 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 What are they but, talking about? I, I have know. no idea. Okay. But, uh, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have, no, I have no idea. <laughs> but hey, I enjoy listening to it. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's great. I'm glad you brought that up. So, okay, so that's another cool album y'all should check out. So explain more. And so how did, I just wanted to follow the tra tra trajectory yeah. to now. So yeah. from then, from there, mm -hmm. um, uh, from there, you know, separately, we moved up to the Bay. I, I want to say maybe first Eli, then Merce, then I. And, uh, we kind of lost touch with each other. Merce and Eli uh, reunited because mm -hmm. at that time, I want to say um, some way, somehow, I can't remember, but Eli befriended Grouch. I think like a cousin of his knew Grouch or whatever. Mm -hmm. so I love, Eli I love what you're doing right now. I've, I've been basement, waiting to hear this. Yeah, you know? I've been waiting. And then Merce went up for school and there was a group called uh, Mystic Journeyman. There is a group called Mystic Journeyman. Man, I'm, I was a fan of that too. You That's know, Sunspot and Lucky. Yeah, Lucky's Lucky lived down the street from uh, Mercer's mom's house. Didn't yeah. know him at the time, but That's so crazy. But they met up in the Bay and Lucky and Sunspot uh knew Grout. So at some in point the bay, in, in the, in the bay. bay, at some point in time, Merce trap went with Lucky and Sunspot to meet up with this guy named Grouch. And when he met up with met up with this guy named Grouch, Eli was living in Grouch's house. That's crazy. So it was kind of like a a yeah, reunion. that's crazy, man. Because you know now it's like they have, you know, like they have their own group, and that I want to get into that later because you guys are a collective, but then you guys branch off and form groups within the group. Yeah, yeah. But so okay, so when you lived up in the bay, was it when you lived in the big warehouse? I never lived in a warehouse. I visited. I I went to school, went to college 
about 45 minutes away. I went mm-hmm. to San Jose State. Okay. So on weekends, you know, I would drive from San Jose and stay with them up in the in the warehouse. That's but cool. I didn't. I never lived in the warehouse. So who God. all lived? Who all lived in there? Everybody else and a whole bunch of other people. That's crazy. At one point or another, but yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't. Yeah. I, I lived in a. You know, I was in a college dorm. Yeah, yeah. I would have so. probably don't, wanted to do what you did. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I love people, but I don't know about living with. Yeah, them. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta live by myself. Yeah, or with my girl. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So let's. What are you laughing at, Len? That's honest, right? Just honesty. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, so when did you guys, so you, when you met all of them, when did you meet Picasso and all of them? Uh, I met Picasso, Picasso was living up there already with Okay, them. okay, okay. So okay. I'm, I was the last to join the group. Mm-hmm. And I was- You were the last? Yeah. Oh. And I was, and I was introduced through Eli and Merce, you yeah, know, of to, course. to everyone else. Because of the Hamilton High connection. Yeah. Wow, that's so In crazy. middle school. That's crazy. So when did you guys decide who came up with the name Living Legends and when did you guys decide decide to record as a as a collective? Well, by the time I joined, it was already established. They were mm. already doing tours, you know, European tours or Australia or whatever That's be happy. Crazy, yeah. You know, and I booking them themselves. Booking them themselves. Yeah. I, I so I was kind of like the path was already somewhat made and I just, you know, oh, inserted wow. myself into it. That's but, crazy. Um, you know, uh that was uh, Mr. Journeyman, so that was mm-hmm. Lucky I Am, PSC, um, Sunspot Jones. Mm-hmm. So those guys were kind of the front runners at the beginning, right? When you yeah. say Sunspot and Lucky, yeah, or he was PS, PSC, PSC back then, yeah. but L- Lucky now. So they were the front runners. They were doing Japan tours, yeah, doing all this, and then they. So that's good that y'all learned from that because yeah. they they already paved that road. Yeah. So when oh. I came in, they were already. Um, I learned from them, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, selling tapes on on Telegraph Ave up in Berkeley, or you're doing shows up street at Street Hustling, Slim, street hustling yeah. basically. You know, and then um, and uh, you know, making our own tape covers, and then going to Kinkos, and you know, pressing them all up. Y'all and were the innovators of that, dude. You know? Like you guys did that. You know, like even Grouch's first album, uh, "Don't Talk to Me." Don't talk to Didn't me. Didn't he do that at Kinkos? Yeah, or? yeah. That's a great album. Yeah, that's you a, can fit like album. one, two three you know maybe three tapes uh covers on a depending on how you you know so you it's it kind of like do it yourself mentality yeah because that's like a punk ideal right i'm yeah. trying to relay this to them well you know you guys are punk, punk rock you guys are punk rock hip-hop and punk are very, par- parallel, very parallel 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 yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. you yeah. know very 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 parallel you know yeah you know you didn't you didn't know all this history about you didn't know his music history huh are you are you learning about it or what are they, <laughs> So they, they right? Childhood friends. Jesus. Right? So, yeah. Yeah, that's what we were up, you know, that's what we were up to. That's crazy. That's what we were up to. So when did you guys started uh, start like um cuz it went from tapes Just to CDs. CDs. And that was then a big you deal. guys cuz I worked at Amoeba. So I would see all the new stuff come in and I Which I, one? In Frisco? No, the Frisco? one right here. Okay, Just the one right here. It was early 2000, yeah. so the, you guys were doing stuff before then, but I I'd, I'd always pay attention to what was coming in. And then I noticed that anything you guys would put out, it'd be under a title called Legendary Music. So what what, what was that? Well, Legendary Music was an umbrella collective, our, mm-hmm. you know, um, our quote unquote distribution. Mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and in that way, when people heard Legendary Music, they knew what to expect, you know, you quality wise, us, lyrically. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, so yeah, that's crazy. Music. That's crazy. And it still exists to this day. We still do stuff. Yeah. You know, we still are legendary is, music. And then you guys are still active as well, right? Like yeah, 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 yeah. We're still active as a crew. It's rare that we do much shows together. We did do a show earlier this year, uh, Red Rocks in a uh, Colorado, Colorado, Denver, Colorado. That's it was sick. Atmosphere, uh, De La Soul, and us. That was a fresh show. It, it was De La Soul. Yeah. You did. Yeah. It was De La Soul. With De La, yeah. It was dope. I, Amazing show. Shout out to Prince Paul, man. I got I'm cool with Prince Paul, man. I look up to Prince Paul. Yeah. That's that's like man, Genius. that's the teacher right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I met him at Comic Con, but we've been cool since. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. But let's go back to you guys. So you opened to De La Soul and Atmosphere with their so yeah. that I mean, what was that experience? I mean, isn't that like a big like Oh that's, that's huge. Big, yeah, you know, like it's outside, so, it's like yeah. you know, um you know, I don't 
it wasn't our first time doing Red Rocks. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, okay. So we were used to it somewhat, but mm. but it was good. It was it was tight. Man. Yeah. So like as far as uh, cause a lot of artists now I want to get to this, but you guys were known also for your live performances, mm-hmm. your live shows. And I think that's what's kind of missing nowadays. Like people put out music, but you can never they don't really perform. Yeah. So when did you <clears throat> as a crew, even individually, like start performing and doing your shows? You know, um I would say around 97, 98, 99. So in the 90s. Oh, wow. You know, in the in 90s. In a while. Yeah, yeah for a while. 90s. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the whole Y2K scare and everything. Well, yeah, that was 2000. That was time. Yeah, you know, that yep. time. Mm-hmm. Was, I remember that's, that. That's what yeah. we were doing, you know. Um, and there's just so many different personalities in the group. Mm-hmm. And one thing about our group is... You know, we're all solo artists as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, Eli, you know, he paints and yeah. you do art. And yeah. uh, I think, uh, doesn't Picasso, Picasso was an doesn't amazing Picasso, artist too. Doesn't Picasso paint and do murals and stuff like that? Work. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, you know mm-hmm. so, yeah, you know, we're all just individual artists mm-hmm. as well. So we bring that. Sometimes Picasso would paint on stage, you know, live. Oh, that's amazing. That's you know? smart because so. it shows a different aspect of what you guys are about. Yeah. Um, so, um, as far as, um, like, as far as like, um, your projects now and like, are you working on like, uh, like what are your thoughts on like technology and the way people and distribute their music nowadays compared to, cause you come from the tape age to CDs and you saw the whole transformation. Yeah. Well, you yeah, know, yeah. And CDs are like, damn near obsolete, you know, I'm I here, know. got a new project and I'm like, do I press it out on CD as well? Should I? How many? Vinyl is coming back, you know. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really. So how do you how do you navigate through that as well? You know, I just keep my ear to the streets, keep mm-hmm. my ear open, and, and just figure out, you know, well, what are people on what medium are people listening to now? Mm-hmm. What, streaming, what maybe rather? streaming. Yeah, you know. You just... What are your thoughts on that, like Spotify and all that stuff? I can't control it. Right, right. It's so the I, way I it figure, is. You know, it's the way it is. Ride the wave. Figure yeah. out how to ride the wave. Yeah. yeah. So as as far as your old material, your new your current material, material is it all available online as well, like yeah. iTunes? It's all available online. Well, most of it. Some of it isn't, but uh, but a majority of it is, and the new stuff will be available uh, online. Online. Well, you know. I want to hear about some crazy tour experience. You got some stories or what? Like, oh uh, man. Yeah. Um, I've been dying to. I've been just. I'm just curious as a fan. You know, like. What's, what crazy experiences? Yeah. You know, it's even just, when you guys were younger and to up you know, in the bay. I or? mean, it's 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 to sit down and just pull it out. It's more like you know, oh yeah, that's happened to me. Oh, I remember when so and so. Right, you know, right, right, right. It's just sitting down. It's hard. You know, we've dealt with. I've dealt with like, you know, from stalkers to. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about that. <laughs> you had a stalker. I've had two. <laughs> well, really, dude? Like in L.A. or what? Yeah, one in L.A., um, yeah, and then one came from a faraway land <laughs> to well, L.A. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what do you mean a far, faraway land? Like, what, are you ta- what, country, what, like, what are you talking like about? Like Chicago, like, you know? So you had a woman take a flight from Chicago and try to track you down? Yeah. I mean, how did you even deal with that? Well... <laughs> You know, it's I wanna, yeah. short story, yeah, short yeah, form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do the short form. Once, do the upon, short form. once upon a time, we met in New York. You know, from New York, we dated a bit. She lived in Chicago. Visited okay. in L.A. I got you. Didn't work out. Went back to Chicago. Angry her. You know, threatened, I'm going to find you. I'm going to. We had a show in San Diego. Um, we went down to San Diego. She went down to San Diego. From Chicago? From Chicago. Jeez, so she this had a friend one... in San Diego or something like Dang. that. Dang. Um, we're doing a show in San Diego. I thought I forgot what it's called. People's something was a big show. Mm-hmm. After we perform, Picasso gets arrested. Well, what happened? Uh, I can't quite remember. It might right, have right, right, I right, can't, right. You know, it was something. I'm, I'm not going to spill yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. He gets arrested. So we're dealing with that. And mm-hmm. I'm walking back once they let him go. I see, oh, this is the thing too. When, once upon a time when I was in Chicago, I met the woman I was dating, a friend of hers. Okay. So in in San Diego, walking back to our van, I see her friend. Her friend looks at me, you know, while we're walking past a restaurant. That's a- and her friend is looking at me like, oh, shoot, like, 
like, you better get out of here. Oh, she kind of warned you. Yeah, she kind of warned me. So I was like, oh, okay, this oh, is real. No. And I just kept walking. And we hopped in our van and we drove back to To LA. the, okay. You know, but it was like, okay, you know, this is real. And I knew she was down because she's, I'm going to find you. You know, I'm going to cut you. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, wait, wait. There's a, there's a big difference between, between finding I'm going to find you and I'm going to cut you. Yeah. That was her so thing. where where did she get all this from? Like that's crazy, know. man. Hey, Chicago is a real city. Whoa, man. I whoa, have, whoa, I have whoa! So much respect for Chicago. Yeah, me too. I've been there once. Uh, it's a it's a it's a rough place. It's a real city. <laughs> it's a rough place. Okay, so I love these stories. So what, what about the other one? The other one, it, it it. Go ahead, take your time. The other one. Yeah. While going to school in L.A., I graduated from a, a high school on uh, on a college campus in uh, Cal State L.A. Okay. There's a school called Lox. It's a performing arts high school. Okay. Um, while I was going to that school, um, I befriended other musicians, rappers. Cool, cool. Who were college students at the time. Uh, while cool, I was in high cool. School. And this college student, you know, he had an A girlfriend, you know. Is that I, that you were at the dorms? At the dorms. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. I love dorm life. Yeah, yeah. So we'd go, I'd go, you know, lunch or ditch or whatever and go mm -hmm. rap in the dorms mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, hang out with the college students. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, his, his 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 girl, you know, took a liking, whatever, to me. So um, after they had split, I had not known. But, you know, years later, I, she just started showing up at my house. You know? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's yeah. back up a little bit, man. Years later, she just... I thought you were going to say she showed up at one of our shows. Nah, she just, but she showed up at your house, They gave man. me a ride home once. And from then, I guess she just knew where, you know... Really, but dude? she started showing up at my house. But the thing is this. She, she was married at the time. Not to him, but to someone else. What the hell, dude? And it was serious. My parents were visiting from the East Coast. And, yeah. And she just... She would show up. And I was like, yo, you got to get out of here or whatever. I'd be like, mom's dad. But she knocked on the door? Yeah, she would knock on the door and insist or sit She's outside out of and, her just, mind, dude. and just honk. Beep, 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 all night. You know, so they were like, you know what? You need to, son, you need to file a restraining order. You need to do this, you know? Oh, my God, your folks were God. Yeah, it was your embarrassing. Folks got but I was involved, like, dude. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I'm on the phone trying to file this restraining order, at least talking to the oh, officers oh God. before going. And then on the other line, I'm getting a call. From her husband saying, you know, threatening me. So I'm well, you like, you didn't do anything wrong. Exactly, exactly. So I'm like, this can't be real. Like, I'm telling the police, oh, okay, my. click over. Like, hold on, I got to click over. Hello, uh, you know, what's up with you and my wife and this and that? I was like, I've never touched your wife. You Good, know? but I need you to hold on. I got, I'm a, I got the police on the other line. I got to let them know that. <laughs> you know, Dang, it was just like, dude. It, you know, it was. Yeah, it was that's real. crazy. It's, it was it's, real. It's, yeah. It was real, but um. How did that end? Like, did that end up pretty? You know, and she would just show up at the house. And at that time, I wait, had wait, wait. A, she did it more than once. Yeah, a number. Of, she would just show up unannounced. Dude, at that's the house. not cool. Not at all. And at I had all. A, I had a, my daughter was three at the time. Not cool, dude. You, there's kids involved. In so sometimes, you know, she would knock. I looked at the people. I see it was her. So I, you know, I had to grab my daughter and we go down. It's like a three story, kind of split level house. So I'd take her downstairs so she can watch her show, and we just waited out. You know. But it was mm. just like, mm. dude, not cool. So I've, I've dealt with that. I'm yeah, I'm yeah. Done with that. Wow. It'll change you. Real talk. It'll, it'll, yeah, it'll change, change you. you. Like, I'm, like, like in what ways? I'm just curious. Like, in what, are you like least, more least, on your toes? At or? least with me, um, how, I'm not as I'm not anti-social, but I'm not. I'm not. You're not going to see me everywhere at shows. No, you're crafting your art, Pete. Yeah. You're doing your I'm, art, man. I'm just like you know. Uh, a lot yeah. less trusting. It's like, oh, you know, right. people are just, people are trip. And this is LA. This is yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, you know, yeah. People are trip. So, damn, that's crazy, dude. So, like, did that end up just going away? It fizzled out? Like, she stopped showing up? Maybe she might see, you might see me on the show, and, you know. All right, so, hey, what's her name? I'm going I'm to let her know right now. What's her name? Uh, I'm going to let her know I'm right not, now, I'm dude. No, yeah, yeah. Wait, whoever that. you are, you leave, you leave my man <laughs> Scarab alone. Listen, if anything... Buy his music <laughs> via iTunes or whatever we're going to announce at the end. That's all we need from you yeah. is to just peep the music and the art. And that's all we need from you, all right, lady? You leave him alone. Dang, dude. You know, with me, because I'm not good with confrontation, you could ask Craig. 
I, if that happened to me, dude, like I would freak out, bro. I would be like, like you need to get the shotgun, Craig. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, since we're on this, t- I love I love these types of stories. Has there ever been like? Because y'all have performed all over the world. Has there been situations where, like, someone, like, a fan got too, like, close or, like, kind of weird? Like, like you, like, you see them at the show, but then they end up at your hotel. Like, whoa. I mean, yeah. There's, you know, if they know where you're, where you're staying sometimes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. Excuse me. No, it's um, okay. You know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. There's, okay, okay. Yeah. Those two go- those two stories were awesome. I love that. Okay, so going back to like as far as your touring and where you guys have traveled, what what's your all time favorite place to perform? What country like is that? Like, where are people really open to your music? Like you outside know, the states, it varies, man. Um, you know, not far, but Canada, the mm. West Coast, Canada, period, the West Coast and East Coast of Canada, mm-hmm. really. Toronto, Vancouver. Toronto, Vancouver. Mm-hmm. I like those both of those cities mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. lot. You know, architecture and everything, and mm-hmm. just the vibe, the venues that they have out there. It's cool, yeah. It's really cool. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, what about in, anywhere in Asia? Um, <clears throat> Japan. Japan is Japan is live. I like East Coast and West Coast Japan. You yeah, know, yeah, uh, yeah. Tokyo, yeah. Shibuya, cool, and then you've got like Osaka. Dude, you guys been there quite a few times. Yeah. When you say, because yeah. if correct me if I'm wrong, didn't the Mystic Journeyman before? They were doing that before they even met you guys, yeah. right? Yeah. So, like, what is it about Japanese people that, like, um, that are, w- w- why are they so supportive and into what you, what the kinds of uh, art and music you guys create? Well, you know, I think an observation is I don't think it's, it's just the, the music we make, but just it just seems like when going out there, if there's something that's of interest. Um, they have a knack of finding its essence. They have the knack of an infatuation and a true appreciation, whether it be records. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether it be records, whether it be jeans, jeans, whether it be skateboards, they're about it. They appreciate culture. They appreciate it, you know, and they collect, they collect, they collect it. that's cool. And y'all have a lot of music to collect. Right. Yeah, so 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 you sell all your product. We were were releasing... um, Music off of a label called Mary Joy out there. Shout we, out to Mary Joy. Mary Joy. Yeah, shout out to Mary Higo. Joy. Yeah. Higo san, yeah. yeah. So we uh we were recording music That's what's up. Out there and, mm-hmm. re- and releasing lab- uh albums and you know Wait, in Japan? In Japan. Oh that's so cool. You know, we would we would do like, you know, exclusive, you know, projects with them. With them. Out there. Wow. Didn't you have a, a Japanese cat on Arata. Your- What's his name? Arata. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. What happened to him, dude? He moved back to Japan, you know? Yeah, but but me knowing that, like, as a fan, I'm like, there's an Asian guy in yeah. it? And I, that, like, made me more of a fan. I, I'm I guess like, at that time, that was probably Because he was rapping big. in Japanese, yeah, too. Like I, I, like, I didn't know what he was saying, but I'm like, oh, he's He was always, he's, about he's, food. He's he's always hungry. He, we were, we yeah, were broke. Yeah. He was always talking about how hungry he was, <laughs> <laughs> you know? How did you, you guys link up with the Japanese guy? Well, when and I put met him, him down with the crew and everything. When I met him, he was already down. He you was know, he already was always, down. He was already at the, he was kind of like, you know, he was already there. He was already at the outhouse, you know. Wow. I, I believe he was going to school or something and dropped out of school, but was living, you know, in the Bay Area. So with, who met him first? Uh, I can't say. I'm oh, not you know, sure. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, before, yeah. before I was, I entered the picture. Yeah. It's yeah. it's interesting because when I worked at Amoeba, I was always like I always checked out like what you guys were releasing, but I was always waiting for his project. So I was, one, I was I was checking the computer like, hey, did he drop one? He and had like, one, Champion of the Seven Seas. I oh, believe, okay. Um, on say, I don't, I'm not sure if he had another. Okay, we're kids. Like I'm, I'm just, Arata, just I, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he, when's the last time you guys like connected? Last time I saw Arata. Arata, yeah. You know, it was like. Many, many, many years ago, man. Um, I think last time I was in Japan or one of the... Wow, dude. And I, I haven't been back out there in at least a good, you know, a good nine, ten years. That's crazy, man. Yeah, man, that's why, I, I mean, I dig you guys' uh, just your whole movement is because uh, not only, like, you guys... Not only did you guys release dope music as a collective, but then there was 3MG, there was... Uh, G and E, and there was, and it just goes on and on and on. CMA, right? CMA, yeah, yeah. There's just groups like we're, you know, eight 
you know, seven, eight of us, but then within we have groups and then subgroups. Everybody's a solo artist. Yeah. Then we'll link up and, you know. Oh, I don't even, I'm not even counting the solo, like, yeah. just Grouch's solo material. His discography is like a band, yes, like, right? like. Merce's too. And, you know, Eli. Just all you guys is like. Yeah. And then how many 3MG albums? You guys did more, like. 3MG albums? We, five, probably, we did about four, one, five. two, maybe three. 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 We didn't have, we don't have many. But, but Penguins is one of them. Right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Penguins. So Penguins, uh, Gypsy's Luck, Grand Caravans to the Rim of the World. So that's three. Mm-hmm. We might have had something else from John. It's been a while. Yeah. Now, 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 like for the fans out there, because this is most, I, I like the artists here because it's mostly because I want the viewers and the listeners to find your music. Mm-hmm. If they, did you re release it? How could they find these albums? Mm. Or like support you directly. I want you guys to be like, you know, yeah. Like well, you know, right, supported. right now it's it's more like your iTunes, you know, your Spotify. Um, we have stores like you know, uh, um, I'm getting mine, my my website back up probably by the end of uh, this month. Mm-hmm. It'll be uh, scarabmusic.la. Um, you know, Grouch has his. Eli's has his, mm-hmm. you know. We don't necessarily have legendary music right now. It's not up, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you're going to have to dig. You're going to have to dig until we get our acts together and yeah, have yeah, everything yeah. up on a simple platform. That's dope, man. That's dope. Um, as far as, like, future uh, projects, like, wh- what's it looking like? Are you are you working on something new right now as we speak? Um, yeah. I, I just, I finished recording, and I'm now working on the artwork, graphics for, um, a new album of mine called Girls, Girls, Girls that mm. uh, will be re- released in June. First day of summer. June so it's 21st. coming out. It's coming. Yeah, in a couple months. Oh. So February, March, April, every month I've been releasing like a new single. Dope. Okay, so where could the people get it once it drops, the whole thing? On platform, on all platforms. All so platforms. It'll be, it's on, my, my new stuff is on iTunes. My new stuff is on Spotify. You can stream it. Um, Scarab. Um, S-C-A-R-U-B. Mm-hmm. Scarab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep going. I like. I like. And this. then, um, yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's pretty much where you can get it now. Mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. Um, I think Amazon has some type of whatever. Mm-hmm, so it's, mm-hmm. it's on there. How many tracks on this album? It'll be twelve. That's twelve what's tracks. Up, man, that's what's up. Okay, let's so uh, some of the production. Like, what's up with the pr- production? Production on this, it's various artists. Um, of DJ Fresh. Oh, he's dope, yes. man. Is the dude with the boombox yep. and he wears it around his neck? Yeah, dude, he's dope. So DJ Fresh, he's got three tracks on it. Yeah. Um, shout out to DJ Fresh. Shout out to DJ yeah. Fresh. DJ Fresh, the world's freshest yeah. DJ. Um, who's also Living Legends DJ. He's oh, DJ. good, good, good. Um, that was that was going to happen regardless. Yeah. yeah, he does so many. He just released yeah. the project, you know. He, I think he has like six placements on a project with um, uh, Wiz Khalifa and Currency. They they teamed up and, and released it. Yeah, yeah, album. yeah, yeah. So he's, he's, he's doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, who else in production? Um on it uh i have uh this cat named open optics he's got two tracks out of okay. uh, san diego shout out to open optics you know he's yeah. part of a group called out of san diego it's called uh inspired flight oh cool cool um, cool who else uh mustafa out of arizona phoenix, oh where arizona. where in where in arizona phoenix phoenix, phoenix arizona. oh shout out to arizona and mustafa phoenix Tempe, yeah. you know mm-hmm. Um, I got some. I got some family there too. That yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ohm. Like I got yeah. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, Ohm. you know Ohm? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's like my brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I started out. I started out with Ohm. Yeah, but we 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 learned from you guys because we were like studying everything you guys were doing. We're like, well, all we have is this Fostex four track, mm. and let's just try. You make it happen. And did you um do you do your own production as well? I do. I have not. Pro- I did not produce anything on this mm-hmm. new album. Mm-hmm. I've produced stuff in the past mm-hmm. on other albums of, of mine, but um, nothing on this new one. Okay, let's do this. Let's put this out in the universe. As far as people you would like to work with, mm. as far as like, like, let's put that out in the universe. Like, well, yeah. Satch, who's already here. Oh yeah. So I'm, you know, he's he's. I've got it to do people to work with. People rest in peace, rest know. in peace, Yusef Afloat. Yeah, yeah I'm a big fan of that too. Nance, the Nance, Nance yeah. is one of my favorite groups from LA as you well. Know, yeah, um, I've got a to do list with artists locally and everything. Satch, dope producer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm long overdue to do something with Two Max. Shout out to Alex. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Long overdue to do something with say uh Micah, Mike and I. Mm-hmm. Fellowship. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And then, you know, um, other artists I'd like to work with, um, Vast Air. 
Cannibal oh, Cannibal Ox. Ox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, is well, he still doing? Uh, they broke out. Is he still doing music? Like, I know he's still doing stuff. Because Def Jux is that was gone a long time yeah. ago. But what happened after? Like, after, did he after that? I mean, he's still releasing. Because I was hoping he was still continued doing his art. He is. Okay, he good, is. good, good. What good, he's good, on good. I, right now, I don't know. But every once in a while, I yeah. check in and see him dropping stuff. But he does production as well, right? I'm not sure. Well, okay. I, I don't know if LP produced. Well, I don't know. I have but to look LP that up. LP produced all of that. Oh, uh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. The Cole Vane. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was. That, yeah. What about this? What if um I, I'm just putting the, I'm just I just came up with this. What if uh LP uh possibly pr- produced a, a project for you guys? That would be dope. If if I'm just if I just thought of that. Some, I just if, thought of it. If I he's got some time aside from you know running the juice. Well, you know I met LP and Vast Air in Japan in like you know like ninety eight, ninety nine, mm. maybe two thousand. Mm-hmm, you know we mm-hmm. did a tour. We, we did it through the record company Mary Joy. That's so it was crazy. it was Mr. Lift. It was uh, that's how I met Mr. Lift. Uh, I met LP Vast Air. It was Merce Eli and I. It's a great artist. You know man. we yeah. did um, wow shows out there. We okay, yeah, yeah, there. yeah. This was way before you know the Def Jux Bloom, mm-hmm. and obviously mm-hmm. before Run the Jewels and all of that. Do we still have your guys' attention? Because I feel like no, no. Because they, is this like when when we're talking? Is it like is it like nerd jargon or something? Or like what's going on here? Do you we're guys keep checking your, <laughs> you guys keep checking your phone and everything. Okay, I'm just, I'm this watching. intrigues me. I'm watching. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. Childhood friend. <laughs> no, oh, God. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I love it, dude. Whatever you're doing, I love every second of it. But oh, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna talk to him after. Jeez. Oh, yeah, man. Respect, yeah, man. dude. Respect. <laughs> Respect the guest. Thank you. It's a chill vibe. Hey, man. It's all good. Everybody's um, comfortable. Man, I would. L- what about this, man? If he produced a whole project that you're on, Prince Paul. Prince Paul, that would be amazing. You know, I'm just put, I'm just th- coming up with Prince this stuff. Prince Amon Steves is like yeah, one of my favorite. Dude. You know, um, just yeah. I mean, that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, Prince Paul, we love you. Holler at Scarab. I think a project would be awesome with you too. <laughs> so yeah, I do this be, with all my guests. Okay. I just try to put like positive. You thought I wish. Yeah, yeah, wish yeah, yeah. There. Just like, you know what else with you? Cause man, you, you're, you're versatile as far as like your range. I, I was thinking maybe, well, what about like maybe Dell could produce some, something or someone from Hyro, maybe yeah. Domino, maybe Domino or yeah. something. Or I'd love to collab with them. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. There's, there's a number of artists, you know, um, or the first dude that did. Nine Eye Zumbi. Yep. And these are all people that I've, you know, but I these know are your I've peoples, come, right? But it's just a matter of doing Linking it. Linking up. You know, and there's other artists that, you know, I would love to work with who, who I don't know. Yeah. yeah. How hard is it nowadays? Because you all used to like go to each other's spots and actually physically show up. But mm-hmm. how, it's probably easier to do a project with some guy like if he lives somewhere else, it's right? It's easy and hard because... What do you mean? What do you mean? Because, because everybody's so busy. You know, and it's like, yeah, you're right. There's you know, you're on the phone, you're on your iPad, yeah, you're on your this. Yeah. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. We're older now. We got kids. We yeah. got responsibilities. Responsibilities. Yeah. And, you know, Payments, in between homework and making bills. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You're right. You can you're write right. this verse. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotta put them to bed. Okay, now I can get back to this. Yeah, whatever. and it's different because, but you guys are like, you guys like pave this way of actually vibing with each other in person mm-hmm. opposed to here's my 16 I emailed it to you yeah. right it's, it's yeah. different isn't and it and we do that too yeah yeah we do that too but you know I think at least I know for myself the songs that I like best are the ones where we have a good understanding of vibe you know yeah where they're actually in the room yeah well we don't necessarily have to be in the room but the it's, vibe of the song yeah it's like we be have, you know before the song is recorded or you know we can actually speak on it concept wise right? yeah yeah you yeah know? yeah yeah how many this is just i just thought of this how many albums together individually as groups within groups has the legends as a group put out like would you say at least a hundred no idea <laughs> i mean it's a lot no idea i don't i don't i don't i couldn't even tell you you know we we each have solo wise. I have the least amount, and I have at least I have at least five. So everybody else probably has like eight. You know, yeah, each. yeah. And then because Merce got a grip too. Yeah, and then you know within our groups, the groups within the groups, everyone has at least two, 
whatever, mm. you know, and then as a group, as a whole, we've got at least maybe three or four. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just, I couldn't even tell you. Thing and then of, there's EPs, and then there's... Oh, right, so yeah, yeah, not I even count the EPs, yeah. which you guys did a grip of EPs. One one thing that I I peep game from you guys, uh, rest in peace idea, but I went mm. to Spaceland back in the day, early 2000, and I seen, that's the first time I seen Slug and um, Idea and Abilities, but then the another, because th they ripped it, and I'm like, whoa, who are these guys? But then um, after the show, one thing that really st stood out to me is a grouch was there, like passing out for you you guys shows he was there like promoting like passing out flyers mm -hmm. like physically and i'm like oh like and then it like the light bulb went out i'm like oh like you have to like go to other people's things and then you're like you have to be in the loop and then pass out flyers yeah. is it that was before we had instagram yeah where we could yeah you had to really us. go there you had to go there because that really because i was you know i was just like just you know i was just peeping peeping you guys out but i was like Whoa. that's the street team that was street yeah because I, I was like Oh, that's that guy from, because you guys had a we, uh, LA Weekly, um, I don't know if you remember this, uh, the Weekly or some kind of LA-based newspaper released an article around that time, and I it, this stands out to me because it was a whole spread on you guys, but it had, um, you guys are surround, uh, surrounded, there was like a coffee table, but then it had all your tapes like scattered. Do you remember this yeah. article? Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah, I remember taking that picture, which was it, off of Sunset. yeah. Somewhere, a lot, a lot, a lot happened up the street mm -hmm. from here too. Mm -hmm. I went to school up here too, Musicians Institute. Mm -hmm. Mi, Mi, yeah. yeah, my homie Mestizo did as well. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Mestizo. Yeah, you know, and I and I met a number of very talented artists there too, who are, who are on some of my previous. Albums. Yeah, yes, but do you remember that spread in that article? I do. I do. So this this article had it had all of them kind of they were kind of you knew who they were they were kind of blurry but then it had uh like all surrounded there's tapes covered. all of their albums just on this table and it was like really powerful it was a powerful image because I was like whoa they're like they did all that like they recorded all that's like their material yeah. on like this and it was just a bunch of tapes yeah. 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 So that's that's one thing that you guys also innovated when you say is promoting yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how has that changed? What are your thoughts on nowadays? Because you mentioned Instagram. Well, you know, nowadays you don't have that hand-to-hand. -hand. You don't have that in your face, you know. Yeah. You know, it was, you know, it was the best of times. It's the worst of times in mm -hmm. the sense mm -hmm. that, you know, um, now people uh, – people's attention spans are shorter too. So mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got to keep reminding, but not too much, yeah, but not know, too I little. Know. Otherwise they forget. So it's like, what do you do? People aren't outside. The people, at least here in LA, other cities, you know, we live in these boxes. We live in a house. We live in a car. Yeah. We live in these headphones. So we're not communicating. You know, my, my neighbors, they don't talk to each other. We don't talk to each other unless there's some type of, you know, disaster or whatever, then mm -hmm. they're like, oh, mm -hmm. no, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if, the, the, if the lights go out, yeah. then they'll be like, hey, dude, let's, yeah. did you flip the switch or whatever? Yeah. yeah. You know, so exactly. So It's interesting to me, yeah, because back then, when I, when I saw you guys actually at shows, like, passing out flyers, it, like, or, or it had an effect. Merch it was us at the merch booth selling our own CDs. Yeah, the, well, that's a no, that, I'm glad you brought that up, because that's another aspect you guys kind of, like, crafted that and mm -hmm. paved that way too because your uh discographies and your merch was just on like vast yeah so is that is has that changed because of the internet and technology you know it's changed in a sense that now we have our own stores on online stores yeah. so we can just mail stuff out you want yep. this you order it mm -hmm. you know you paypal boom whatever money's venmo there. venmo yep. money's there okay i'll send it out I don't even have to go to the post office now. I can just get it picked up and, you know, it's out the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, so that's great. But, you know, it's kind of like everything else. It means we're not doing that footwork. We're not doing that work. So we're sitting around getting lazy or, you know. Yeah. So do you think that's important for an artist to, to have that aspect as far I as do. their hustle? And I everything? do. I think in, in this day and age, you know, like record companies and stuff, they had something called artist development. Yeah, explain and that. that. Was, what, what, that was, what was that all about? Well, artist development was like, okay, we have this artist. We think we can sell X amount, but they're not so great with people. Let's, let's you know what I'm saying? Develop let's finesse them. them. Let's develop them so that they can, you know. They're marketable. They're more marketable. marketable. And, oh. you know, can, can be comfortable around people. Mm -hmm. And 
in our case, that developed us. You know, we had to deal with people. We were in people's faces. We had to shake people's hands. We had to, at shows, remember names. Hey, so-and-so wanted a shirt. Hey, Tammy, well, yeah, I still have that shirt. Yeah, hey, yeah. Mark, I still have that CD. If you, you know, so it's kind of kept the mind sharp. Yeah, and Now yeah, it's kind of yeah. like we're just excluded and it's through. So it's yeah, yeah. You know. So would you would you agree that you would maybe nowadays you need a balance, like you need the online presence as well as I believe, physical stuff or packages. I, I believe so because I think that um, you know, just society. I think we're a lot more socially awkward than we used yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Or at least I find that. No, I get it, dude. Even doing this podcast and like, cause <laughs> I like I try not to read the comments, but like I've you know, trust me, you could ask him. Like I've like lost my mind you know like someone says something i don't i want to have a communication with this person attacking me but i don't know who this person yeah. is they're just attacking me yeah. or like eh. yeah well i'll give you an example so would they say that in your face i don't or think could so you, or you can solve or resolve it easy faster i think we would because i and think maybe become friends or whatever exactly because i think or that it it, i think that <laughs> I think that the people that I think are my enemies or who are attacking me, who are these trolls, I think that they're, we're all in pain, right? Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. they're really like in a bad part, you know, time in their life. Yeah. And that's like their outlet is to like, hey, I'm here. Mm -hmm. This is the only way to get your attention. So I'm going to say something mm -hmm. about you. Yeah. But it affects me. Yeah. And I'm trying to get to a point where it's contagious. Yeah, where I don't let it affect me internally, where I'm like, you know what, that's cool. They can say what they want to say, yeah. but I. So I, I'm trying to get to a point where I could recognize where they're coming from, but don't take it personal. Like, yeah. Where I'm like, oh, you know. But you can only do so much to a screen. Yeah. You know, it's code. It's it's lights and it's you know it's frequencies and it's waves communicating. But yeah, but it affects it, you. Yeah. Somehow. So you guys had to deal with, have you de dealt with that? Like as far as you, like any of your music or people like you know, I, hecklers or I'm negative sure, comments? I don't, I don't read them. <laughs> I don't, I don't read them. And, and you know what, honestly, like, you know, I'm going to tell you real talk. I have kids now. So I've yeah. got other people in my life who are telling me I'm not cool. Yeah. You just don't know, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right, you're right. So old, you're not cool, dude. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that changes everything. Man. I got what more friends who are in the fifth grade and sixth grade and eleventh and twelfth grade than I do, you know, right, out right, in the right, world right. right now. So it's like, but that's cool because kids at least are real, more real, ouch. and they're honest. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that, I mean, that's a good that's a good um, characteristic that they have. They're not like beating around the bush. If yeah. they they think something, they'll be like, hey, dad blah 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 and you're yeah. like oh okay at least you're honest about it yeah i was just wondering that i'm just trying to i'm trying to navigate through that as well because anytime you put whether it's a podcast or a song or a feature or a short film you're gonna if it's out there you put it out there someone's gonna oh people are gonna someone's gonna chop try to chop your head off yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you agree craig yeah. everyone go see hollows grove so it's on itunes is that you can i just say that hollows grove Okay. <laughs> okay. How we doing on time? We doing okay? We got about five. We have five minutes. This is the time, dude. I really love John here. Like I said before, any of the legends are welcome at the Stevie Weeby show. Stevie Weeby. Um, Grouch, please come through. We because we you know people have been asking for the Grouch as well. Do you think Merz would come too as well? Or? I cannot. I mean, I know he's busy. I know he's. I know he's busy. I know he's busy. Uh, what about Sunspot? You think Sunspot would be open or? Well, okay. We'll work on it. Yeah, yeah, we'll work on it. Okay. We'll talk after. We'll talk we'll after. Talk. We'll talk. Okay, so again, this is the time I want to plug your social media, your websites, future show, uh, show dates, tours, etc. What's your Instagram? My Instagram, the real scarab. T H E R E A L scarab. S C A R E. The real scarab. Yeah. Once you watch this, you go on your Instagram, hit the blue button and follow. Follow me now. Yeah. Follow. When, say again, when your your project is being released, June. June 21st, first day of summer. Mm -hmm. Girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. On all media platforms. On all media platforms. iTunes, Spotify. iTunes, Spotify, and everything else that's out there. Anything else as far as other members or like their projects or tour dates or shows? <sighs> 
right now I'm drawing a blank. You know, I have things in the works, but I don't have any shows until um, probably till this summer. So everything's in the works right now. This is a downtime where I'm just, you know, I I manage myself. I mm-hmm. do it all myself. So I'm I'm home juggling this, that, and the other booking thing. So right now I look like, you know, a Zodiac killer or like mm-hmm. a serial killer. It's like you get walls. The, you're with, getting the work done, though. Getting getting the work done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen to that. I love that. And that, we'll, we'll, we'll have more members on, but I, yeah, I wanted to talk, we only have an hour, but I just wanted to, I, I just love talking about this uh, yeah, art and just creating and everything. Now, um, so June, new album, 21st, you said? 21st. 21st. First day of summer. Everybody who watches or listens to this, if you're a fan of the Stevie Weeby show, mm-hmm. on June 21st, you go on the internet and you buy this man's album. No questions asked. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen to Stevie Lee. Yeah. With that being said, I just wanted to um, shout out all the new patrons. Uh, you guys have really helped out during this time. Um, even go to Eli's. Pledge on Eli's Patreon, too. Okay, go to Eli's uh, Patreon. But Stevie Weeby has a Patreon. Go to Stevie Weeb. Uh, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Uh, Stevie Weeby Bandcamp.com. If you want to follow the show directly, Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. Got to shout out the new Patreons. I did the big shout out on the Mascara episode, which drops tomorrow. But these are the new ones after that. So shout out to Paul G, Oscar Silva, Matthew Pedersen, James Buff, Connor Gogan, and Haley Maxwell. Shout out to the one person that bought music off my band camp. <laughs> Andrew Tilly, he bought Lil Ray's World. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, if I'm starting a new vlog series called Stevie's P.O. Box. If you guys want to be involved with that, send your packages to the Stevie Weeby Show, 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. I got another name. Yeah, 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 yeah,